So how do we think about unsettling the patterns of how we do things in a parish? Those ways of organizing our worship, our religious education, our service, all of those things that we just, well, that's the way we've always done it, right? It's just part of who we are. Well, one of the things you can do is literally, again, do a calendar inventory. Look at what you're actually doing and ask, where are the places in that calendar where there are opportunities for people to be together, to actually do things together? And which of your activities are the most accessible across cultures and which ones have the biggest barriers? Look at that calendar and really take that uh, seriously. So just to sum up this business about assessing your culture, every congregation, every parish has one. And I'm not just talking about ethnicity. Okay. Every congregation, every parish has ways of being together. It has a world it has made, a way of being in the world. It has made its buildings, its tools, its ways of materially giving order to that world. It has invented stories. It has created a set of activities that are its routine ways of being present together. And all of those things that constitute the existing culture are things <clears throat> that are taken for granted by the people who've been there a long time and often aren't even really noticed until something comes along to unsettle them. Sometimes that something is from the outside. Um, you have to merge. You have to share your parish. New people in the community. And in the midst of that, or just intentionally, you can decide to unsettle that culture and take the role of the newcomer and start to gather really systematic observations about what this culture really looks like and think about how you could be a guide to the culture and invite new people into that culture because you understand what's actually there and aren't just taking it for granted. <laughs>